And now we're going to learn how to create our own SoundCloud audio file. There are two ways of doing it. If you want to upload a pre-recorded file from your computer, you click Choose Files. If you want to record it directly into your computer now using your microphone, you click on Record. It's going to ask you if you allow Adobe to access your camera and microphone. You click Allow. And then when you're ready to record, you click here. Let's pretend that I'm a student reading Hamotzi from page 29 in the Kol Yisrael 1 textbook. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu Malach HaOlam, Hamotzi Lechem Min Haaretz. I click the stop button, and if I want to hear it over again, I click on the play button. If I don't like what I heard, I click start over and I can re-record. If I like what I heard, I click upload your recording. And as the recording is being uploaded, I can give it a title, Ha Motsi. I can upload an image if I wish. I can uh, give it a description. I can determine what type of recording it is. There are a number of different choices. I can give it a genre. And I can determine if the recording is going to be public, available to everyone, which is not what I suggest with a school project, or private which means that it is only available to those people who have the link. You're the one who supplies them the link. If you wish, you could add them now, right here, or you can share the recording another way later. Uh, and just so you know, when you share the link and other people go to listen to it, they do not have to have a SoundCloud account. If you want people to be able to download the recording, you click here. This is where you control who can take the code, the information about the file, and embed it on their website. Right now, anybody can take the SoundCloud recording code and embed it wherever they want. I would suggest that you click here for anyone. Click here that only you, the person who created the recording, can take embed the um, code wherever you wish. In our case, it will be the Online Learning Center. You click Save. Apps are programs that allow for people to stream your recording via third-party application through the SoundCloud API. It's a little technical. What I would do is disable it. Once you've gotten all this information, you click Save, and the recording appears here. In our next video, we're going to learn what to do with this recording.